Hi guys, I'm Beck Tech, and welcome to another episode of Dreamfall Chapters. Everyone's probably inside, carousing. Carousing. They're building bonfires for Reap Moon's Eve next week. Right. Uh, we've got to go to Rooster and the... Oh, I keep forgetting what button it is for the quests to pop up. But it's Rooster and the Kitten I've got to go to. Oh, look. Hi. There's official Azadi business going on here. You'll want to turn around and walk away. A pumpkin. An odd vegetable. Native to the Northlands. We have nothing like it in Azadir. That's a shame. Oh, what's going on here? Hey. I'm just going to copy the same animation <laughs> in each other's eyes. Without that proud cock and the delightful little puss riding on it, the resistance would be in a dark place indeed. I... Oh, goddess, forgive me, I keep doing that. You see that gentleman sitting over there? Don't look, you simpletons. Balance. You lot don't know much about subterfuge, do you? That man's an Azadi mechanic. He drinks here most nights, but I didn't know that part until I overheard him speaking to his friend earlier about the pipes. Seems that with a pipe network up and running, there's a lot of tinkering to be done. Our man over there carries a tool to open maintenance hatches. If we can get inside a hatch... We can maybe figure out what they're using the pipes for. That's brilliant, Ulvik. So we slit his throat and dump him in the bay? Not in my bar, you won't. <laughs> if they find out we've taken his tools, the information could turn out to be useless. No. We need to... Borrow his tools, open one of those pipes to have a look-see, and put the tools back before he notices. And that was probably what you were going to say when I interrupted you. Hmm. Sorry. I'm actually mm. surprised you're not agreeing with Liko. Seeing how much I didn't you get enjoy a choice. killing people. <laughs> if you can do Ooh. it without him noticing, I won't stop you. But if the Azadi ever suspect that I'm collaborating with the Resistance... That will not happen, Ulvik. What do you suggest, Kian? Ulvik brought this to our attention. It's only fair that I include him in the decision. The others look to me for leadership now. It's important that I take charge and make the decisions. Mm, yeah. Alvik. What do you think, Alvik? Me? Well, I think you three are resourceful in uh, different ways. Instead of bickering about what to do, which is what usually happens, why not split up? There's every chance that one of you will come up with something that doesn't involve murder, the total destruction of my pub, or blowing my cover. I agree. We can't take too long. That man won't stay here forever. He's on his second drink. He usually doesn't leave until he's had at least three. And I can offer a few on the house to make him stay longer. It's decided then. We'll meet again here later this evening. Da? Lyle, what do you want? Oh, I thought you were one of them. You know, the magicals. Goddess knows why there's still magicals in this city. I thought they'd been deported. All of them. Never mind. Take a seat, man, and I'll buy you a drink. Where are you from? You sound as odd. My apologies. I need to be elsewhere. Oh. Right. Next time. I should have a drink with him, getting wasted. Alvik doesn't have the most sophisticated or upscale clientele. And I'm sure he's happy about that. What does touching him do? I could knock him over the head with the butt <laughs> of my blade, but I don't think Ulvik would approve. <laughs> Ulvik told me once of the legend of the Onyx Cockerel, High King of all cocks. The Black Cock, really? Come on! <laughs> oh, maybe that red-haired chick can help me out. I don't know. Can't you just seduce the man downstairs and then, uh, you know, I'll take his tools? Ulvik's provided Bip with a cot down there, oh. among the wine caskets and beer barrels. I believe the boys acquired a taste for strong drink. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. I won't say no to a tasty bit of yam. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Oh. Gosh, that was weird. 
traditional reap moon snacks. Roasted apples, salted yams, sweet roots, What's a yam? pungent <laughs> fermented snap jaw eggs. What's a yam? I don't know. I won't oh, say he's no gonna do to it again. a tasty bit of yam. No, don't make the noises. Mm. Oh. Mm. Baby, stop! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are mostly laborers <laughs> and dock work. Mm -hmm. Delicious. It's to help me get started, <laughs> and then I'll head home. Wait, what's wrong? He's <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> Can you tell me anything? You're the only one not out there looking for a solution, Kian. That probably won't play well with the team. There's nothing out there, like, what, what am I supposed I to do? I hate this life for second city. Whatever, I'm out. I'm out. If that's what you want me to do, door. then fine. Maybe I should destroy one of the towers and go, oh, listen, your thing's been vandalized. Go deal with that. Oh, no, then he'd bring his tools, wouldn't he? <laughs> I can't jump. Why did I try to jump? Oh, I'm losing it. What you doing? Oh, you're not guarding a door for a man, are ya? Mm. Oh, he can't re-offend. He's dead. <laughs> Thanks to me, because I'm a hero. Yeah. This pipe has a hinged panel in it, but I'll need a tool to open it. Okay, so now I know how to get, where to go once I get the tools. Okay. <sighs> Goat eats leaves. Goat falls asleep. Interesting. Ooh, give me leaves. Wait. I remember someone talking about this a while back. The mole, was it? Ah. Uh. Because, oh, that's right. The mole was having a moan about an ingredient that was in the wine um, that was putting their patrons to sleep. Remember? So let's grab some leaves. <laughs> what was wrong? I've got an What exactly all of a are you doing to that goat? Oh. <laughs> Busted. Wait, does this have anything to do with why you rejected me? Goats? Honestly? What do you mean by <laughs> goats yes. and honestly? I don't understand your words, woman. Hey, I'm not judging anyone. I'm just surprised, is all. Where have you been this past month? Away. Far away, travelling, so... Uh, this goat, what's going on here? It's rebel business. Clearly. How's that working out She's for you? She's jealous of a goat. Are you one of them now? I'm atoning I'm a goat. for my sins. Yes. <laughs> right, but you are enjoying it. I don't enjoy fighting my own people. Well, you seem to be good at it. Word is the resistance is gaining support, that people have hope now that you're there. I'm doing what I can to help. I heard you went all out on our vile little Azadi officer. Torture and execution. You're colder than I thought, Kian. It might have been better to keep him alive, but I get it. I would have probably done the same in your place. And you got the information you needed. Your people fled Old Town in time, even if it meant the Azadi met no resistance. At least that explosive spell tore off a few limbs and heads. What do you want? Nothing. Nothing. I saw you. It's been a while. I wanted to say hello. Oh, I've <laughs> missed this. The one-sided conversations, the sullenness and suspicion. I've come to enjoy it quite a bit. Anyway, goats? We have a lead on the pipes. Oh, that explains everything. I'll leave you to it then. I'm going to the rooster later tonight. I need mm. to speak with Olvik. Maybe I'll see you there. Don't try Maybe. and kiss me again. Please. This is what I love about you, Keon. You're such a people person. Bye. She's gonna disappear again. Ready? Gone. Okay. Did I get my leaf? Thank you. That's okay. I prefer goats, anyways. <laughs> this is even so. It works on goats. Well, then it should work on the Azadi too, eh? Thank you. One more ale on the house, da? Ah, what a lovely head. It brings tears to my eyes. 
It's simply spect... Yeah. Is that all I needed? Oh, okay, right. That's, that's handy. Don't take too long out there. If he wakes up without his tools, there'll be questions and I won't have any good answers. Okay. I hate that sometimes in games, a character will say, you need to hurry up or this person's going to die or something's going to happen if you don't be quick. But it sometimes doesn't actually matter whether you're quick or not. It's just just to show urgency in the game so you don't know whether to take them seriously or not. It won't budge. It needs a special tool to open. Tool. There's air flowing from right to left, like a tempest in a tube. I don't know. So what? Is that it for that bit? And the next one should be over here. Oh, what? What? What was that? <laughs> There's a powerful wind blowing from right to left, and it carries something with it. Too quick to see, too fast to grab. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, maybe I need to mess with the pipes. Yes. That didn't accomplish anything. Whatever's in there just bounces off the pipe. Okay, so I've just blocked it so far. I don't know. Laura, let's just shove the pipe in this one over here. Poor bugger. Yeah, we're gonna snooze. Maybe that will slow down the air. No. Barrel bobbing. There's a tradition we also have in Azadir. Of course, we didn't use apples. We used nettles. They stung. Ah, this brings me back. Although without the nettles, I just want the apple lost. and I'm gonna shove it in the pipe. Yeah, if I shove an apple in the pipe. I heard that. Oh, it was you. Pfft, never mind, I thought it was the. <laughs> what the heck? Come on, man. Like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> There's a powerful wind. Oh. Huh? 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 It's a golden switch. A metal ball? That's what's flying through these pipes? Oh, they're pretty too. Where did the orb come from? I should investigate where this pipe leads. Hopefully to some answers. Oh geez, how you get your objectives. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah, it comes from here. But I can't go in. I need to find a way into that building tonight. The pipes I don't know where it came from. Yes, did that, got the cutscene, but to my knowledge, nothing changed. Were you here when we had that horrible mess the other day? I don't think so. Well, one of them, uh, what are they call them ground crawlers. Rats. Rats? That's it, <laughs> rats. One of them rats got into the pipes. Whoop! Got sucked right into the engine. Whoa. That doesn't sound good. Light, what a bloody mess. Literally. Guts, bones, hair, blood everywhere had to shut things down. And it was us who had to clean it. Engineers wouldn't touch it, said their hands are too valuable. I guess ours aren't. It's a soldier's lot, isn't it? We do the grunt work. That's how it goes. Well, I guess they think cleaning out rat guts is more important than us keeping watch and protecting them engineers in there. Eh, guess so. Okay, rat time. Bip, hello. Hey. What's up? So to? we meet again, Azadi. Prepare your blade for battle. Goddess, it's late, boy. You should be in bed. So should you. What are you doing now? 
chasing rats. The boy appears genuinely interested. I've been told this is rare in children. Perhaps I shouldn't discourage him. You know what? We're a team. He's going to help. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. Are you We're that gonna hungry? Rats taste like sewage. <sighs> Trust me, you're better off eating table scraps. Uh, I'm not eating the rat. I need it for... It's work-related. It is. Okay. Well, don't let me keep you from your rats. Are you just going to sit there? It's not every night I get a chance to watch you catch a rat. Fair point. Okay, I thought he was going to help me. I'm not even touching the ground. Ah, that too quick. No, You're it. not very good at catching rats, are you? Bip, you, you do it. It's a leftover cheese and meats plate. I've dined here. The food's good. I would never have left any bits uneaten. That was quick. This All is right. more fun than throwing pebbles <laughs> at Azadi guards. You do it. You do it. What's wrong with you? It's yams, you monsters. Yams. Yams. Oh, spat. A yams just carrot. Legit looks like carrot. I don't know what I can do with this stuff. You're not very good at catching rats, are you? I'm not. That's why I need you to help. I don't know what to do. Maybe I need to get some more herbs. Put that sleepy herbs onto the cheese, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, here you go. Here's some particularly potent cheese. Filthy shadow spawn. Eat it. Eat it all. They won't come close as long as I'm standing here. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, Is I it see breathing? the slow one. I don't know. And I don't care. It's a rat, and it's not moving. Oh, that's terrible. I really didn't think you would. I'm impressed. Poor thing's going to die. Well, it, unless it's already dead. Oh, no. Ooh. <laughs> what was that sound? It was a squishy sound, sort of like. Yeah, let's get. You've got to be kidding me. Not again. Shut a damn ground crawlers. <sighs> I guess it's on us to clean up the mess. That bloody engineer in there's not gonna do it, so yeah, it's on us. <sighs> Light. Well, let's get to it. No time like the present. Hey, hey. Have fun. Is this the Matrix? He's one of the people who work here. I've noticed others like him entering and exiting. They're odd looking. Maybe this is some kind of thing like to combine the, um, the universes together? I don't know. I wonder what'll happen no, when I push one of these stop knobs. Stop thinking about touching the oh, knobs. That's ominous. They look like pokey machines. <laughs> Oh, oh, um, you're not supposed to be here. This place is for engineers only. Please leave or I'll be forced to call the guards. I have a very loud voice when I'm scared. One sound and you'll be standing on the slopes of the first mountain, yelling at clouds. Goddess. Oh, no problem. I'll be quiet as a... Uh, you're from as a deer. I've seen your profile in embroideries. I never forget a nose. You're the Apostle. Apostle Elvani. You're famous. Maybe once. Now I'm just Kian. Your turn. 
My, my turn, what? Your name. Who are you? Ferdows. I'm Ferdows, lead engineer. I don't know what that means. What do you do? Don't you know? I, I thought you would have known, you know, from back when you were... I'm in charge of the team that encodes the spheres that make the engine tick. What engine? The engine that... <laughs> you, you know, the engine. <laughs> There's only one engine. The one that encompasses the entire city. It's, it's what all the pipes are connected to. Didn't they tell you anything when you were... Y you know, before you were a traitor? Assume that I know nothing. What is this engine for? The engine calculates. That's why they call it the calculating engine. <laughs> Big numbers. Complex equations. I, we, uh, my team, we give the engine instructions about how and what to calculate. This is called coding. I, I understood none of that. Y you can't be here. You're a fugitive and, and, um, this is a restricted zone. That's like two things that mean you shouldn't be here, and I could probably think of more if you need me to. I have a sword, and I'm bigger than you. Those are two things that count in your favor, granted. So what does this calculating engine do? What's its purpose? I'm, I'm really not supposed to. Right. Bigger and sword. As I said, it calculates. I mean, it does more than that, but that's what it was built to do. It's core functionality. It adds, subtracts, multiplies numbers, big numbers, and it does things with those numbers. Like, um, like, have you ever watched the stars in the sky at night? I'm not just a man with a sword. Of course. And you've seen how those stars move across the sky. Using a calculating engine, we can actually track those stars and predict where they're going to be in a year from now, or a century, or where they were a century ago. Why are you tracking stars? Well, we're not. I mean, it's just an example. We're not actually tracking stars. I mean, sure, we could if we wanted to, but... We're tracking dreams. Dreams? Dreams are very complex. Which is why we need a big engine with lots of ticking parts to make complex calculations and predictions. Right. So, the part about not just being a man with a sword... Assume that's all I am and start over. Yes, fine. Um... Those pipes crisscrossing the city, they're sort of like, um... Like speaking tubes. Connecting a hundred sage masters, each with his or her own field of specialty. So, it's like a university? Well, I guess. Uh, yes. Yes, this is a good comparison. A whole city filled with clever brains. The spheres pass messages between the different masters, and between them and us. We write messages, and we interpret messages. We tell the individual brains what to think about, and then they do the thinking, and report back to us. Now this allows us to write ever more complex messages until, finally, we have the code we need. The ultimate message. That one we send to the tower. Why? Because... because that's where the biggest brain of them all is located. This is the hub of the Pike Network. The engine's core, its heart, the nucleus of the meta... Well, y you understand. The fact is... This is the most advanced and scientific task anyone's ever taken on, and we're doing it. You should be proud. Why are you doing it? Well, I... I... I don't quite know. Because we can? Because no one else can? Because the Prophet told us to, and gave us the tools to do it. So, you don't know what it's for? I write the instructions. I'm the, um, I'm the man in the middle. Someone tells me what they need and I tell the engine how to compute the answer. This is my job. Who knows what the engine is for? The Six, probably. The Prophet, certainly. Emissary Saya, I would imagine. 
This is above my pay grade. Above your... I was hired to write instructions for the engine and compute the spheres. Not to ask questions. And... and not to answer yours either, Mir. You really should go before someone comes. We'll both be in terrible trouble. They usually check on me all the time. I, I wonder why they haven't. I still don't understand. Why build all of this here in Mercuria? Why not in Sadir? Because of the tower and what's below it. Vast eddies of, um, meta-energies. Meta... do you mean magic? <laughs> magic? Magic! Of course not magic. This engine is, is, is the opposite of magic. It's the culmination of everything Azadir has strived for these last hundred years. An end to chaos and uncertainty. An end to superstition and irrationality. An end to magic. When the engine's fully operative and the programming complete, we won't need sorcerers or witchcraft anymore. We'll be able to do anything we want with science. Reshape reality, rewrite the laws of the cosmos, remove death and disease, poverty, and warfare. The world will be run by scientists for the betterment of humanity. What do dreams have to do with it? The engine feeds on the... on, on the building blocks of reality. Um, ideas, stories, dreams. Magic is highly detrimental to the system. See, sorcery causes chaos, injects uncertainties and, and, and fallacies into our calculations. So, is that why magicals are... are being relocated? We can't have them around while the engine's calculating. But as soon as we're done... We you can... believe they're being relocated? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yes, of course. I mean, it's what they told us. Why would they lie? It's simple. The engine isn't compatible with magic. And we don't want anyone getting hurt. There's no room for sorcery in Mercuria. The Magicals are better off in their new homelands. They're being sent to prison camps. Re-education camps. This is true, yes, but only temporarily. This is their first stop. Afterwards, they're given passage to their new homelands, where they can- Do you really believe that? What would the Magicals be re-educated to do? Forget that they're Magicals? No, Fadaus. That's not the truth. They're imprisoned. Killed. They're not given a new home. But they told us. They said they were... They, they promised they'd be safe. And happy. And... Oh, light protect them. So this is why we're sending all the Magicals away from Mercuria. Because of the engine. I... Yes. Yes. That's why. I didn't know. I didn't know. There are children. There are. They lied to us. Do you need to remove all magicals before starting up this calculating engine? It's already running. I'm... I'm not... As long as the thermaturgical interference is below the acceptable threshold for... Pretend that I'm a very small and possibly very stupid child. Oh. No. No, they don't, they don't need to get rid of all of the magicals. Just enough not to disrupt our calculations. We'll be done instructing the network in a couple of days. After that, they can pull the lever whenever they want. That's the last component of the engine. The tower. The one that will start feeding on and molding the dreams. Changing the world for the... For the better. Yeah. I, um... I believe the official ceremony is a few days from now. The emissary will be there together with the first, and the prophet, and... and... and please don't kill me. I'm not going to kill you. But what you're doing here is not the will of the goddess, Fadaus. Something is going on. Someone's... Oh. Mia. I had a feeling it was you. Oh. Mia? Goddess, what are you doing here, Hami? Where are your men? Right outside. They can be here in seconds. You, Engineer. What's your name? I threatened him. He played no part in this. Ferdows. I'm Ferdows. You lied. I beg your pardon? You promised they'd be safe. I've no idea what you're talking about. Go, Ferdows. This is not about you. 
Just remember what I told you. You're not doing the work of the goddess here. Were you doing the work of the goddess when you murdered Da Donyam? How did you know that I... He exploited a Dalmari child. He would have been put to death. After a trial. You're not judge and executioner, Kian. Not anymore. And you didn't stop there, did you? You've been busy. I've recognized your bloody handwork. You've shamed me. You've shamed Mother Utana, the goddess, your nation. You should be looking at what the emissary and- Right now, I'm looking at you. And the young man of faith, honor, and integrity I once knew appears to be long gone. I should have realized the taking of Old Town was too easy. It was a distraction. Designed to take my mind off the investigation. Commander Vamon and the Emissary have been lying to me about your death. Why is that? Because I'm a danger to them. And it's not the only thing they've lied to you about. This engine... You betrayed us. You joined the enemy. To stop Sire and Vamon, not to fight our people. Not to fight you. Sister Sire is the Emissary. Commander Vamon is your superior officer. They are your people. They are traitors, Mir. They have betrayed our nation, our faith, and- You should have come to me first, Apostle. You should have come to me. When I received word someone had been spotted entering this house, I had a feeling it was you. I entered alone for two reasons. One, as a courtesy to the mother. It would break her heart again to hear that you perished in dishonor, fighting my guard. And two, your living proof that Vamon has lied to me. I cannot reveal my hand to Vamon, but I also cannot let you go. You'll surrender to me now, without struggle, and you'll be brought to Sadir tonight, in secret. Uh... The courts will decide your fate. For the time being, while I sort out this mess, you'll be locked away under a false name. No one will know you're alive. When I'm ready to confront the Commander and the Emissary with their lies, I will reveal the truth about your survival, and you will cooperate every step of the way. Ask Sire and Vermon about the camps, and what they're doing to- You lied. You lied to us. You told us they would not be harmed. You told us they'd be safe. There oh, were children! Shit. Get off me, you idiot! Go! Go, Keon! Make them pay oh. for this! Stop that! Get off me! I'll have you beheaded for this. I'm... Can I choose to. Shadow, him out? damn you, man! Leave this place! Now! This kid's got balls. Did I grab Pip? Please tell me I grabbed Pip. Wow! He just did a full 180. <laughs> Yes? Mother. It's the General. He asks to speak with you. Send him in, child. Hami. Is anything the matter? It's Kian. He's alive. Oh! Goddess. Goddess, be praised. How do you know this? He broke into the engine room down on City Green. Light. What was he doing there? Speaking with one of the engineers, Fadaos, a young man from the southern provinces. Kian said... Oh, well, it's of no consequence. He's a traitor. He's joined the resistance. But... It is as I suspected. We have been lied to by Vamon and the Emissary. For what reason? That I don't know. Yet. And until we do, we cannot confront the Mother. I agree. We don't know how firm their grip is on the tower. If they know that we know... What about Kian? Was he here? How did he look to you? He looked strong. Different, but strong. He must have his reasons for doing what he's doing, Hami. Kian would never betray Azadir, or his faith. Perhaps, but that's what he's doing. I gave him the honorable choice to turn himself in and face righteous judgment. But he fled like a coward when the engineer attacked me. Attacked? 
I don't blame the man. Kian poisoned his mind with baseless lies. My men detained him, and I placed him somewhere safe, somewhere he can't tell anyone what he saw and heard. Out of Vamon's reach. We need to keep this between us, or we run the risk of alerting the Commander and Emissary Sire. Much as I'd like to hunt down Kian myself and put him to the sword, we must be patient. Let's trust the Goddess Hami to illuminate our path and bring us to the truth. I certainly hope she will. Goodness. Hang on, let me just itch. I'm really itchy. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one there, guys. Just because that was just like a huge cutscene. I don't want to make the videos too big, but... Uh, now the cat's out of the bag. I'm alive. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye!